Hey everybody, just walking through the RV park right now. My son and I were in Waco last weekend and I decided before we went fishing, I want to do a full walkthrough on my kayak. There's 18 different things that I've done a DIY on, which you need to watch to the very end because you're going to be impressed on the last one. I want you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because what you'll see on the kayak has not been put out yet. Hit the comment button and let me know what you think about it. There he is. East Park in Waco, Texas. Let me show you a little bit of walkthrough on my kayak and show you why I think it's the most DIY kayak ever. I'm gonna go over, we're gonna start at the very beginning. We're gonna start from bow, uh, from bow to stern and show you how this looks. Anything that you see on this kayak has not been released on my YouTube channel yet because I wanna complete everything. Okay, so right on the front here, I, I put some LED lights, your red and green running lights on. Right beside the seat, I have two buttons that I put in. This one here is a switch that stays, and that's for uh, nav lights on front. Then I have the nav lights on back. Uh, front is back and forward, but this one's just an anchor light only. Anchor light here actually has a um, light here that's from a car, and it's water sealed. It's a LED. 360 light bulb you can buy for about nine dollars for two in a package and it works extremely well the next diy project that i have is a paddle keeper for my kayak i put it right beside my seat where i can shove it into the front and then put it down right here beside me and it locks in nice and solid and uh oh, it's solid too anyway i'm gonna go ahead and take the paddle off right now just to open this up and show you what I have in here, I have a battery. This is just a uh, small battery, it's a little heavy, but the way I got it wired in, everything goes with my electronics, uh, trolling motor, other stuff. I just got it wired in this way. The DIY kayak kill guard that I've made out of this super, super thick um, PVC plastic. This is actually a four inch elbow that's in the gray pipe. When you do the elbows, it's thicker plastic than it is uh, the regular pipe. The next DIY I want to show you is how I built this bracket system for my fish finder and I'm able to put a GoPro up on. And the reason I have it up higher like this is because I actually have an aerated live well that I DIY'd so I can sit and look up over it and see that pretty easy. But this right here, I mean, you get the GoPro and you mount on here, you can see even. All this is is uh, some PVC pipe, and if you look right here, this is a flange that I bought in the gray pipe area. You can get everything from Lowe's is where I got mine. And this here just screws on. It just screws on to that. It's a flange with a uh, screw part on it right there. Some three-quarter inch PVC pipe, a T, another flange, bolted on. Come up here and you got that. So this is a DIY project I'll be having coming out soon. Like I said, all my DIY projects will be coming out soon so you can see how I built that one. Okay, coming up next, this box right here. This is actually an aerated live well that I used out of a 
soft pack. I'll just go ahead and open it up, show you inside here. It's just open, but what makes this really neat is I've got one of these little $2 deals at Walmart, drill some quarter inch holes. I can put bait fish in here, uh, and then I can put crappie in. I made this specifically for crappie. And right here, what we have is just a bubbler system down into this pack. The reason I bought this is because it had the pouches on it. And just a bubbler, I can turn this on, and I can have an aerated live well in a kayak that I can close up, use the straps, and walk off with it. There's been times that I actually uh, run out of bait fish, started crappie fishing with just jigs, and I loaded this thing up. This thing will hold about 10 good sized crappie in it. They're tight, but let me tell you, it's heavy when I walk back to the car, but I got fish to eat tonight. And here's my next one. I just got an anchor. What I did is I built an anchor rope. This is a little bit heavier duty than most people do, but I over-engineer everything. And you can get these climber carabiners that actually locks in. It works really, really well. Just get some, get some uh, noodle foam. And when you get it uh, where you want it to go, all you got to do is this is clipped on to the side of the boat. And you just take it and you go around and down and you're locked in where your anchor is going to be so that's a good deal right there and then you can just release it right off the boat and it goes out so most people know about kayak anchors now the next one i'm going to show you this here i probably use more than anything right here on the side of my anchor trolley i've actually got uh more of the 550 cord with just a carabiner here a uh, couple of feet of them just one of these things that get at a uh, harbor freight it's pretty strong it's got a good grip got teeth on it so i can actually reach up and grab a log hold on use my uh anchor trolley to pull it forward so i can hang on to a tree and no problem just scoot up grab it done that's another little diy holds on pretty good i am looking at doing an anchor wizard type situation all out of uh, six inch coupling pvc so make sure you subscribe to the channel and watch when that one goes out. Hit the notification bell so you can see why that one, when that one comes out. I also have another DIY project coming out soon. It's a sit on top seat upgrade on my son's kayak. Make sure you watch this one. This in here is my newest one that I've actually entered. Of course, I gotta have the PFD. I have a bad back, so I use the pad here. This kayak is actually designed where it pops down into here and this sits way down low and I wanted my seat to sit up so I can slide tackle underneath, sit up a little bit higher so that I can actually fish like one of those, you know, this here's only a $600 kayak, but I wanted to rig this one out like it would be one of those, you know, $1,500 kayaks, sit up high and everything. Okay, so what I can do is when I sit down, this holds much better and I'm up higher because I can pop this out. It's solid, almost can't hardly pop them out half the time. There we go. But instead of being in here, it holds. And all you gotta do is right here, I just put, you know, the one inch pipe over the other pipe, put a deal in it, an end cap. Now I'm sitting on top instead of down in low on this type, type of kayak it'll do. So as you can see, I put PVC pipe uh, one inch here and here. Now I'm sitting up a lot higher, which is really cool. And it pops in really solid. When I sit on that, it's not going anywhere. Coming up next, this here is one of uh, my newest ones that I just uh, finished up. And this is actually a camera boom for my uh, DJI Osmo camera. Another one of these flanges, love these flanges, bolted down, got, took this out, put some backer plates underneath. But what this is, is just a uh, quarter 20 bolt going all the way through, a little quarter 20 nut, wing nut uh three quarter inch elbow elbow this is not glued none of this is glued okay i think this piece is glued but none of this is glued through here so i can have a multi-angle uh gopro style mount and it just locks in where i want it to if i want a behind the shot i could do it and just loosen it up and it stays solid tighten it up it's gonna go right there but if i want a shot that i want to go out to the side i could just move it over here get that side shot Put it down like this, put it up. If I want a closer over the shoulder shot, if I want to actually go back here, right behind me over the head shot, I can do that. If you get one of these, that's uh, like some of those expensive ones you see on on, uh, on the website all the time, they get 100, 120 bucks for something that, like this. This is less than 30 bucks right here. All the parts and pieces, less than 30 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that, okay? So we're moving on got our next one here is actually is a uh, deal I'm gonna unlock this real right here real quick just to show you 
Okay, so we'll get it out on the ground just to show you. That goes in behind my seat, and what it does is that I have another little battery inside here. I've got it plugged up and plugged up here where I actually have USB so I can have my phone charged. I can actually uh, charge my, keep my phone uh, camera going. I plugged up to my camera, it went like for four hours straight unstopped because I got a big SD card. And I can keep my camera in here, uh, my SD cards, extra parts for the, Go, uh, for the DJI Osmo. And it's just a neat little box. You can get that at Harbor Freight for hardly nothing. I got my phone charger down in here. So if I need to hook up my phone and charge it, What's cool about this, it's portable, it's not solid into the boat, and I like that. I probably will do something into the boat later, and then just put this in front instead of behind the seat. But I like it, because I designed it where it's waterproof, because this goes through the water, the seal, and I can plug up, throw it in behind my boat, latch it down, and I've got portable power for all my uh, electronics. I also want to show you that I have this uh, rail right here. This is actually a Scotty mount style, but I made this DIY and you need to go to my YouTube channel and subscribe so you can see how this is made. Okay, for the next one I'm gonna show you is my crate that I built. It's a very uh, cool one. Once again, I, uh, I'm gonna keep saying this. These are not out yet on my YouTube channel because I wanna show you what I have, then you can go to it and see it. Uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button so that you can actually you know, see when this comes out, when I, how I built it. Okay, so on this one here, I had the tray. You've probably seen that before, but I've done something different than most people. I went ahead and bought one of these little, if you notice this uh, latch, it's on that box. It's the same latch here, because these are only four bucks. If you went and bought a latch like this one, it's about $20. So buy the box, cut out the box, keep the latch, and there you go. So I just put it on here. It just comes up, opens. I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid right here. This latch is very simple. It just goes in like this and snap and it closes and it's tight. I have the kayak crate with the bungees here, so if it flips over, the kayak crate's not coming out. So let me step back and show you the really important part of the how I love the way I DIY'd this kayak crate. Something that you've never seen before in a kayak crate. You see those ones that just ties right on, the ones you can buy, the ones that you can actually just hook on right here, and they're solid. Well, guess what? Let me show you what this one can do. If I get under trees, I can just reach back and lay, lay my rods down, okay? And that, this is so cool. And you can see how I did that when this video comes out. And then I can just pull them right back up and there we go. Excellent. The next part, I built a really cool rack here for my trolling motor. But what I did was put some pipe on both sides so I can use this to actually make an anchor, uh, a shallow water anchor that I could use and pull just from um, releasing you've seen shallow water anchors before i just got it in a tube here where you can pull up and down utilizing the rope this is 10 foot actually because i got a 10 foot piece of pvc and it works great now i'm ready to tell you the most exciting part that i have on this over engineered most diy kayak you've ever seen is this bracketing system that is for the trolling motor system that i have on this kayak okay so for the first thing i want to show you is how i built this i just have all of this this is all welded aluminum uh, you can try to do the weld yourself this is the scrap pieces that i made for this design but what i did is as you see most of them has that block that comes up that ties and you squeeze that down i didn't want that so i didn't want to be out on the water so it would accidentally get loose and flop off i wanted it permanent so what i've done is is i cut it straight across and took that part that's off the turn and i bolted it down in here and in here and it just got a more streamlined look to it then what i've got here on this trolling motor is I, I took out the solid lock part on this so it's more free when it does it and that's where i'm gonna come to and show you what this is this is a linear actuator okay it's a two inch stroke that moves up and down that i've got bolted to the kayak here so i can actually have tilt and trim it's pretty awesome let me show you how that works just real quick and this here cost about 40 bucks for the linear actuator you probably got about 50 bucks in wiring and the switch and everything else so 50 bucks you can have tilt and trim on your trolling motor and that's pretty awesome here so when you get in shallow water you can just tilt it up no problem i tried it like other people with the ropes and it was just too much pulling and too much stuff in the way this is much cleaner easier way to do 
So the next part I'm going to show you on the trolling motor is the steering system. And that one right there, nobody, I mean nobody I have seen on the internet anywhere has done this design. So the next part that I want to show you is my actual bracketing system. What I've done here is I welded this part onto the actual motor here so it goes with it. It comes up. This right here is actually a shifter cable, a six foot shifting cable off of a boat and that extends out four inches. Got it locked in here with a bolt and then I've got a clamp here that I actually bought at a truck stop. And so what it does, if you watch right here how this moves in and out. Now you see it moves in and out, so that gives the steering and it's a 45 degrees for the trolling motor to go left, 45 degrees to go right. And we're going to follow the cable. This cable goes all the way down around here, comes through, and then comes up right here up to the head of the trolling motor sideways so that I can have stick steering. Sitting in my kayak, I can actually turn the trolling motor up and down and it goes left and right all due to this pin right here. I can sit in the kayak and I could go left, I could go right. Uh, I could go any way I want just by stick steer drive and I have throttle here on and off right here with stick steer drive style. Nobody else I've ever seen do this. Uh, so it's a really cool design that I've got there. Whoa, didn't I say at the very beginning that I had 18 DIYs on this kayak? Well, this one's not out yet. So I have a design that I made with a wheel cart for my kayak with a linear actuator so the wheels will go up and down as I'm in the water. You're going to love that one when it comes out. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thank you for enjoying this DIY project. We'll see you next time here on Pro-Am Outdoors. <laughs>